Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to block a website IP address in the Windows firewall. So this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the Star menu, type in Windows Firewall. Best match should go back to Windows Defender Firewall. Go ahead and left click on that. Select the Advanced Settings option on the left side. Select Inbound Roles on the left side, and then select New Role. It's going to ask for a role type. You want to select Custom, so select Custom, Custom Role. Select Next. Now that you are here, we're just going to select Next. Just keep going here. And then it's going to ask customize the interface types to which the rule applies. You want to select these IP addresses. So you can type in whatever you want here. So at this point, you just would select add. Type in, I'm just going to type in just some random address to be honest with you. But I'm assuming you guys actually have a legitimate address. So you want to go select OK once you have it in here. And then select next. Select the option where it says block the connection. So again, couldn't be any clearer there. So then select next once you have done that. And now it's going to ask where does this rule apply. Just keep them all check marked. Select next. And now for the name, you can say whatever you want. So you can say blocked a specific website or whatever. I mean, it doesn't really matter to be completely honest. But we're going to select finish here. And if we click out of the control panel that we were open before, you see now the inbound rule that we created is right at the top of the list here. So very easy. You can delete it as well. You have a little delete option too. If you selected, you can modify the rule. So very customizable to be completely honest. And you can also do the same exact thing we did with the inbound rules with the outbound rules. Now the question is, am I going to bore you guys and actually do that? And the answer will be yes. So I'm going to select a new rule. I'm going to select custom again next. If anything, this is just reinforcing what I've already said. So anyway, we're going to go ahead, select next again, select next, and then these IP addresses, and then we're going to add it. I forget exactly what I typed the first time, but I'm probably going to get pretty close. You know, you guys will be able to just go back and pause the video and see what I typed, but I don't remember off the top of my head. But anyway, go select next, block the connection, next again. Again, very straightforward. They make it really easy to do it. Honestly, and anybody who's looking to actually block IP addresses should understand what we're doing here. It's not, um, it's not over anybody's head, so to speak. But um, this is pretty straightforward. You can see the rule has been created here, and you can see the inbound rule is also still here. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.